All right, so the very next thing that I'm going to do here in X Lights is not actually set up the show here. A lot of people like to do this first, but I want to set up the layout first. Um, the cool thing about X Lights is that you can do these things in different orders, and at the end of the day, it really doesn't affect things too much. So I think that's really cool. So what I'm going to do here is work with my layout. The very first thing I'm going to do is go here to background image and I'm going to find a background image of my house. Okay. I just went personally, you could go out front and take a picture on your phone, but um, I just went to Google street view and uh, download the photo. Boom. There we've got it. There's my house. I'm just going to go ahead. You can fill, see what looks best, what looks most natural. I think Phil kind of stretches it. So I don't want to do that, but I want to take the brightness here down really low so I, I can see what I'm doing on top of it. Um, it. It helps if you've done Christmas lighting on your house before and you've taken a picture with the lights on your house, which foolishly I didn't do in daylight last year. Um, you know, that's a good idea to use that because then you can see exactly where the lights are or else you're just guesstimating, which is really not that big of a deal either because you can always move stuff later. So I'm just going to go ahead and press save. Boom. Now it's safe. So let's go ahead and start adding lights to our house. Up at the top here, we've got our different lights here. And you can see as I mouse over them, I get a little tooltip that shows me the different things that I can create here. I'm just gonna go ahead first and create a simple roof line. So at this point, if you've done lights before or if you haven't, you wanna have a good idea of the dimensions of your house um, the size of different things, and how many pixels you're going to put on this. Um, that's a little bit deeper than I want to go in this video, but I'll be talking about that more, how to decide um, in other videos, you know, what pixel pitch to use, um, which is just a fancy term for saying how far are those lights apart, and um, how to decide, you know, how many you can fit in a given area and what makes the most sense for your display. So we'll, we'll cover that in some other videos here on learning Christmas lighting, but I just want to go here. I'm going to start with a polyline, so I just clicked it. It's really simple here in X-Lights. I could just click and say I'm doing my roof line here. Let's say I just do this lower roof line. Simple and basic. I can press Enter when I'm done. And I can press Escape when I'm done. Boom, and that makes the polyline. Now I can see here, just to start, I can see here in these columns that I have my my model, the name, the start channel, the end channel, and any control channels. And here at the bottom, it tells me the number of lights total. So this is where it comes in and you say, okay, I know in this roof line, you know, this is however long it is. Um, say it's about 10 feet, I believe mine is. And in that 10 feet, say I have a two inch pixel pitch. So if I had a one inch pixel pitch, 10 feet would be 120 pixels. But I've got a two inch pixel pitch. Um, and so instead of 120, that's going to be 60. This says 50. So I'm just going to type a 60 there, press enter. And we see that the model here in X-Lights is automatically adjusted. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is load my existing file and show you what I've modeled out on my house. So to load it, it's, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to go here to select show directory. I can also go here to set up and click change on show directory. And I'm going to go find it. So for me, it's going to be documents, X lights. Perfect. We'll press to save everything that was there before. And now I see my layout with, with all my stuff in it. So there's a couple things I want to point out. You know, the first thing is we had just done a polyline here. And, and so I brought um, those in here for my roof line. I've got my sides of my house. I've got my windows. And we can see here when I click them, they also highlight in this side window. So what we're able to do is, is name all of these as we wish. And so what we can do right here at the top is we can just rename it anything we want. We can just click here at the top where it says name above all these drop downs, and you can name it whatever you want. So see, I can add a two at the end of it. It updates it, but of course I have a window frame too because that's my second window frame over here. And so there's a variety of models that, that you can choose from here. And if you've worked with CAD before, this should be pretty simple. Uh, one that I used here is Matrix I used a good bit. You see, I've got these on my porch rails. And so you can click Create a Matrix. It's really just as simple as clicking and dragging. 
And then once you drag the size, this is always how it's going to work. Oops. Control Z to undo. I accidentally clicked an extra one. Is once, once you create that matrix, you go ahead and find it. Here it is. And then you want to set the sizing. So this is um, whether it's wired horizontally or vertically. Um, you know, how many strings there are, um, which is the amount of... Um, just individual controller outputs generally. Um, we'll talk about that more in other videos. The amount of nodes per string, and you don't have to get this perfect from the get-go, okay? This is important. The number of nodes per string you have, 50 is pretty standard. And um, and then you can set some other parameters here, like where the wiring starts. That's actually really important. But it, you can always change this later, which is the great part about the way x -Lights works, because what I like to do is just build what I want my house to look like, sequence my stuff, and then later, when I actually get my props and my models and I put them on the house, I just test them. You know, I run some basic sequences over them to test them. And then I see if they're wired the right way, if they're not. And if they're not, I just change it right here. It's, it's no big deal. So I'm going to delete this guy. So this is the basics of the layout. It's, it's really just as simple. If you uh, had one of these selected, you can click it again to deselect it. But it's really just as simple as selecting your different models. I like to do it via this window. And then you can move them around here with the arrow keys, as you see I'm doing here. You can uh, click and drag them as well to move them around and, and make them match the layout of your house. Now, one thing you guys may have seen is that there is a 3D view, okay? And we can toggle that and we can actually see our lights in the 3D space. But at this point, um, it's early 2019 and the effects in X lights don't work in 3D. So while it's cool to have a 3D space and if you've worked with 3D CAD programs before, you'll recognize the way that things can move in 3D with these axes. Um, it, I would say that unless in your front yard, you've really got a lot of depth to it, um, or on your roof, that's hard to see in 2D. I would just stick to sequencing in 2D for now. 3D is really cool. It's trendy. It seems like a great thing to do. But at the end of the day, it's a bunch of time to make it realistic to your house. And the effects don't yet work in 3D. So it's not really gaining you anything at this point. Um, so I'd recommend sticking to 2D, but you can toggle back and forth here. Awesome. So in the next video, we're going to be talking about the sequencer and sequencing your first um, show here in x -Lights. So join me right over there. And uh, if you are new here, be sure to subscribe here to Learn Christmas Lighting on YouTube and head over to the website, learnchristmaslighting.com, where I've got articles and other things just for you guys to check out. I'll see you guys there. Thanks.